Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we did was we started looking at patterns within uh, ratio charts. So within the ratio charts, what we want to do here in this particular example is look for any mistakes. And the best way to look for mistakes is to first look for any patterns that might exist. So for example, I have the number of hours here in this first chart. And I notice that every time I go cruise down here, I'm adding two hours. And on the flip side here, I'm noticing that when I'm cruising down on this side, it looks like there's a pattern as well. If it goes from 24 to 40, if I take my 40 and I subtract 24, I notice that I'm going up by 16. Okay, But this one here doesn't seem to want to cooperate. So the other pattern that I'm noticing is that when I'm going from 3 to 24, I'm multiplying by 8. And that's holding true here. It's not holding true here, but it is holding true here. 9 times 8 gives me 72. 5 times 8 gives me 40. So here's the, in, the inherent problem. Now, if I were to multiply by 8, my value should be a 56. And then everything else works. I have a plus 16 here. I have a plus 16 here. 40 becomes 56. And now if I was to add 16 to 56, I get a 72. Okay, so that all seems to work. So here's my new table over here. I'm going to fill it all in. 40 and my 7 is now a 56. And my 9 is now or remains 72. So now here's a completed table. Everything seems to work and all the patterns hold true. Okay. Now it's asking me for the ratio. Now what they really meant is the value. All right, a simplified ratio. So if I was to take any one of these guys, let's say that 3 to 24, and if I was to simplify that, I could divide both of these guys by 3, and I would get a 1 over 8 ratio. All right, so that's the value of all of those ratios. Now in the next example, I'm actually going to use the value of the ratio to help me fix this table. I notice that I have a 1 to 5 uh, ratio going on here. So for every blue, I get 5 yellow. Now, that does not hold true uh, for the rest of these guys. It doesn't quite work. I have a times 5 as a pattern, because 1 times 5 gives me 5. Uh, and I want to hold on to that particular pattern all the way through, except for one thing. I have 4 times 5. That doesn't give me 8. 4 times 5 gives me 20. Okay. 7 times 5 doesn't give me thir uh, 13. It gives me 35. And the 10 times 5 doesn't give me six, 16. It gives me 50. Okay. Now, if I want to start finding and putting in all those nice little patterns, I'll notice that, that not only do I have a pattern of multiplication, I also have a pattern of addition. So I add 3 to get from 1 to 4. I can see that I add 3 again, again to get from 4 to 7. I add 3 again to get from 7 to 10. So let's see if the pattern holds true on the right side over here in the second column. Looks like I'm adding 15. And that is holding true all the way through. 20 becomes 35 when I add 15, and 35 becomes 50 when I add 15. So here we go. There's my 1, becomes a 5, and my 4 now becomes a 20. Here's my completed chart. My 7 now becomes a 35, and my 10 becomes a 50. And once again, that was a 1 to 5 ratio. Okay? If I were to extend things down, this becomes rather simple. Just follow the pattern. So if I wanted to keep on going, let me change colors here and erase some of this. If I wanted to keep on going, find newer values or extended values, I could keep going here. So if this was a 3, I add, I'm adding 2, adding 2. I could put an 11 there. And on this side, I'm adding 16, 16. So all I have to do is keep on adding 16. And I'll notice I get an 88 over here. And I could keep on going. But I could also keep going with the multiplication. Instead, this should be a times 8, and it does work. So either I can use multiplication to keep that chart going, or addition. It doesn't really matter. So those are the things we worked on today, looking for patterns and using those patterns to help us find new values or change values that might be wrong. All right? That's it, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.